Hey guys, it's Miss Valbuena. All right, here we go. We are reading Ish by Peter H. Reynolds today. Ish. At the end of the story, I'm going to go back and look at the picture where they they have six drawings of something ish and I want you to make something for me and post it to Google Classroom. So, um here we go. Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere, even there. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up his drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisola's sister was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell but he fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish. She exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw his feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. So if we go back and we look, he filled his journals with drawings. So if you can make me a drawing or more than one drawing, and make it ish like and send it to me. All right. Bye guys.